But one thing for sure, we have a, a president elected who is running this country. Yes. We have a cabinet which is functioning and we have a parliament which is passing laws. Yes. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you so much, Minister. Yes. Boy, 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 boy. This case will be deliberately be delayed, and that's my sense. We are going to delay it for some time to legitimize this government. And that should not be the case. I think the High Court must really use the time that it is given to adjudicate this matter as a matter of agency. Because we don't want this situation, the very same situation like in Nigeria, where you take a court, a court application to the court, and Nigeria is going to the next elections and the case has not been adjudicated. So it is important that the time is process of this of this of this case must must be given for, for democracy to take root in our own country because if, if we delay democracy we people would, would voters because we are going to a next election voters would not be really enthusiastic to go to the next polls if this case has not been been heard so we, we urge the high court not to take too long to hear this case on its merit we have to appeal again to the Supreme Court by the time the judgment by the Supreme Court is handed down Definitely to be more than uh, beyond, at least in terms of my calculation, to be beyond next year. The courts have their own procedures, you understand, of handling court cases. At the same time, of course, as a lawyer, I'm trained as a lawyer, we say, legal maxim, we say, justice delayed is justice denied. But I'm sure the courts are also aware of that. But at the same time, you see, I don't think it would be prudent for the court just to rush, just for purposes of rushing. They have to go deeper into the merits of the case so that at least at the end of that judgment, whichever party wins, whichever party wins, whichever party does not make it, will weigh the arguments of the court, the content of the uh, judgment, before contemplating whether to appeal or not. But as I'm saying now, if this judgment is uh, as it has been the case now, it's going back to the High Court, I can rest assure you whichever party is not satisfied with the judgment of the High Court, the likelihood of appeal to the Supreme Court is very high.